It's always a challenge to get children back in a bedtime routine, especially after the school holidays. One thing all parents know is how much children love staying up past their bedtime, but you might be shocked to find out what time they should go to sleep. According to experts, the answer to that question all depends on their age and what time they woke up that day. A sleep chart circulated by a teacher at Wilson Elementary School in America on Facebook says five-year-olds should be going to bed as early as 6. 45 p.m., depending what time they woke up that day. For children aged 8 and 9, bedtime should be any time between 7. 30 p.m. and 8.45 p.m. to 9 p.m. covering ages 5 to 12, the chart shows that children aged 5 should go to bed from 6. 45 p.m. to 8.15 p.m. depending on their wake-up time. Meanwhile, kids aged 11 and 12 should be asleep any time from 8. 15 p.m. to 9.45 p.m. However, it adds that if your 5-year-old gets up at 6.30 a.m., they'll be ready to go to sleep at 7.15 p.m. But if they woke up slightly later than 7 a.m., they'll be ready to nod off at 7.30 in the evening. While an 8-year-old who gets up at 6.45 in the morning will be ready to go to sleep at 8.00. 15 p.m., the same aged child who woke later, at 7.30 a.m., won't be ready for bed until 9 p.m. According to the NHS children all need a certain amount of sleep, depending on their age. For example, newborn babies require at least 16 hours sleep in a 24-hour period and by the time babies are 6 months old, they should nap 3 or 4 hours in the day and sleep 11 hours at night. It's recommended that children should continue napping until the age of 3 when naps should be around 45 minutes, if at all. NHS guidance advises that by the time children are at school, they will need approximately 11 hours of sleep per night. At age 7 children should have 10 hours and 30 minutes sleep a night and when they reach age 10 they should be getting around 9 hours 45 minutes sleep. According to the NHS, 9 hours is the minimum children need right up until age 16. However, after the school sleep chart went viral several parents weighed in on the sleep suggestion slamming it as unrealistic. One said, in a perfect world, yes. But not every child is the same nor can a lot of parents follow this because of lifestyle. For example I work 12 hour shifts, going by this chart I would only see my children on weekends for the first 6 years of their lives. Another said, as a single parent who leaves for work at 7 a.m. work and doesn't get home until around 6 p.m. every day, this is completely unrealistic, I still have to feed him, he cook dinner, get his homework slash studying done, bath time, getting ready for bed and bedtime story, not to mention trying to get in some quality time I'm lucky to get him in bed before 9. But others said the chart was a guideline and parents should apply common sense and a routine bedtime. One said, kids need a bedtime. I know people who have kids that are around 5 and they tell me they can't watch The Walking Dead because their kid is still up. On a Sunday night. No. Put your kids to bed. Kids need structure. Another said, I think this is meant to be a guideline not a hard and fast rule. The point is don't let your kids stay up till 10, 11, 12 at night when they have to be at school at 8.